The coalition agreement has also set out, it seems to me, a very clear set of policies and values for um, the way in which government should do business. And I think actually there's some, some very helpful statements in the coalition uh, uh, agreement about a new kind of politics, that the days of big um, government are over, that the top-down model of central control um, is over. Well, these are interesting areas to explore. That the time has come to disperse power widely. Um, well, let's look at that. Let's look at what that actually means in practice. I think that's an area that is certainly worthwhile. Um, uh, unions, governments, employers actually coming together to explore. And I understand the imperative, as our union understands the imperative as to why government has said that it wants to look at a new way of doing, do, doing business. Largely that imperative comes from the, uh, the budget deficit and the concerns around how do we get to grips with the budget deficit, how do we build greater ownership out there amongst the population at large and within public services and within private sector and voluntary sector organisations to say, well, hey, what can we do um, to begin to make a difference? The answers are not all going to be found, as it were, in Whitehall. Whitehall coming up with all the answers that, that people together, that communities, that, that trade unions for that matter, but certainly for public sector organisations, voluntary sector and the private sector uh, to come up with uh, solutions uh, uh, too. So we understand the priority around tackling uh, uh, the deficit. We're reminded, of course, by the coalition, it seems uh, on a daily basis, and I don't know um, what the uh, induction programme was for uh, new ministers in the coalition uh, um, uh, uh, cabinet, but um, I wouldn't mind finding out more about that induction programme because we, we could use it extremely well within our movement as well. But every single day, it seems, that ministers are saying to us, we are all in this together, that there is no alternative. And the messages are very clear and they're consistently conveyed uh, and, and all the rest of it. Now, we could debate whether we're all in this together. Um, I'm happy to have that debate. But the question about tackling the deficit isn't one that we in the trade union <coughs> movement is afraid of looking to answer. And indeed, last week in Manchester, the trade union movement was agreed that we do need to be looking at how the deficit is actually tackled. But how it's tackled and over what timescale that deficit is tackled really does matter because the extent to which one can do huge damage to public services and to the lives of ordinary people in this country uh, really does matter. So we need an economic policy um, which is robust, which, is, which um, uh, does deliver what government needs to be delivering but does so in a fair and just way.